Hey everybody out there, welcome back to another week of On The Road Tech Reviews. I've gotten a lot of feedback in the past weeks on exactly how I capture these lovely little videos for y'all. And what I have been using and what I've found has worked best for me uh, is three pieces of equipment. The first crucial piece of equipment is a uh, key, the capture device, that's the iPhone 6 Plus. Uh, the 6 Plus is great because of it having a front-facing camera, so I'm able to monitor frame well at the same time uh, being able to address the camera. It's got a nice big 5.5 inch screen. Coming up in a few weeks, we are going to have a full-blown review of the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus because I do think that they're great pieces of technology and they merit their own review. However, I would like to have an iPhone 6 and an iPhone 6 Plus side by side so I can do that review. The second piece, all it is is kind of a heavy duty suction cup with a quarter 20 tripod screw on it and this is designed to hold any point and shoot or otherwise lightweight camera uh, on this quarter 20 screw. It also has this special tightening nut here so you can adjust the total length of the bolt and make sure your camera is secure in there. The basic operation of this class of suction cup is pretty straightforward. You have this button here to put pressure down on the suction cup onto the window. You have this lever which you pull back that tightens up the suction making the whole uh, unit more sturdy and anchored. Then you have this piece where the camera screws in and then this adjustable knob that allows you to adjust the angle of the camera in relation to the angle of the plane that it is mounted to. Now all I have to do is press down on the glass and pull on that lever. And now it's pretty sturdy. The third and final piece is from a company called Joby. It's this little guy right here. All this is designed to be is this little quarter 20 thread adapter that can fit a variety of different mobile phones. So it comes out of the box flat like this. If you pull these two pieces up, you can see where it can clamp onto a phone. There is an adjustable spring inside, so if you have a phone that is pretty large like the 6 Plus, then you'll be able to accommodate that. So you take the quarter 20 thread, screw it on to the system. Now you say I have the phone tripod adapter mount firmly anchored into the suction cup system. The next thing you do is get your phone or other small camera. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to use this case and voila there it is you're holding uh, your phone and like I said before that is how uh, I go about recording these reviews that's also why this video is shot a little differently because the rig I usually use is here on the window I'm just using a phone stand and it's precariously perched there on the dashboard hey mister policeman don't pull me over bye Now the one thing that is difficult about this particular mounting solution for the car is that uh, windshields by design are not uh, perfectly flat panes of glass. There is a certain curvature about them and the mount itself being relatively inexpensive only has one axis upon which you can adjust the camera angle. So if you put your mount in a place where the windshield is curved you're going to get a shot like this where it's just a tiny little bit crooked. I've been very happy with this mount, not only in using it to record these videos week by week, but also when I'm using uh, navigation in the car with my GPS, a little behind the scenes look into how I make these videos. Hope that's what you wanted, uh, not what you were looking for, needed something else. Tell me about it, comment below. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends, and come back here every week for the best tech tips here at On The Road Tech Reviews. Thanks, have a nice week.